Hi, I'm Sam Stadlin. I'm a professional viol player uh, and member of the Viol Consort Fretwork. Uh, welcome to my mini tutorial series. Uh, it's going to be uh, a series of short videos on some uh, core technical uh, issues that I find that students and amateur players uh, encounter in their journey with the viol. Um, I hope you enjoy them. If you do, please uh, hit the subscribe button and like the videos, uh, or dislike if you if you if you don't like them. That's also perfectly fine. And uh, I'll see you in the first tutorial. Hi everyone, and welcome to the first mini tutorial uh, in this series. Um, I do a lot of teaching, and I often find that players are doing either too much or too little with their bow hand. Um, and so I thought it might be a useful place to start to look at a basic technique for getting a, a good, relaxed bow hold. And this particular technique was, uh, was taught to me by my first teacher, uh, Susanna Pell, thanks Anne. Um, and it goes something like this. First of all, take your bow in your left hand and then hold out your right arm, palm upwards, so that your hand is really nice and, and relaxed. It should be very, very floppy at the end of your arm, uh, like a, I always describe it as a, like a dead fish. Um, step two, once you've got that relaxation, is to rotate your forearm 90 degrees to your left, like that. And you should see that your hand is still really floppy and that your hand falls away at the end of your arm. So you've got a nice straight line running down your arm and then it falls off at the thumb. And that is your basic bowing position. And that level of relaxation shouldn't ever change. Um, so step two is, of course, to, to put the bow um, into your hand. So if you take it in your left hand and then just gently put the bow between your thumb and your palm. Uh, and you can rest the bow on your, on your index finger of your left hand, if you like. And so it just should just sit there. Again, your wrist is still nice and relaxed. Um, so there's no, no tension involved at all. Uh, next step is simply to put your middle finger just through the hair. I tend to put it um, about the first knuckle, uh, up, up to the first knuckle, so that the first knuckle is touching the string. Um, I tend to have my, the hair of my bow fairly well into my uh, palm, usually just below the sort of knuckle area of my index finger. Um, but of course, there is no correct way to do this. Um, this is just how I do it. So if you, if you prefer a different uh, uh, positioning of the bow, then, then that's fine, of course. Uh, and that's it. That's the finished bow hold. Um, you'll feel that you can uh, push down on your middle finger, on the hair with, with your middle finger, and uh, by, simply by rotating your forearm to your left. Um, we'll talk about that uh, in the next video in a bit more detail. But you should feel that you can push down on the hair with your middle, middle finger and that at the same time your palm pushes up on the hair at the other side. Uh, then if you put the bow on the string, it's at this point that you might start to need your index finger and your thumb. Um, these should never grip uh, or press. They are there simply to help guide the bow. Um, that in a way to stop it slipping up and down the uh, the palm of your hand, um, but uh, just be be wary of, of really ever pushing with uh, with the thumb or the index finger. Uh, that's it for the first part. Um, in the next part, we're going to look at um, actually bowing, moving the bow, uh, and the processes involved in that. But for now, just remember that wrist should stay very very loose, very relaxed. 